How do you feel tonight? Are you reflective of what's gone on or are you looking forward to next year already? Um, I always say I feel completely exhilarated, tingled with a bit of relief and colossal personal pride and awe in what my colleagues have pulled off, which is pretty amazing, actually. Yeah, and I mean, what a film to end on, The Irishman, which so many people have been um, wanting for so many years, and finally we're getting great, it. Because we're going to really go out on this amazing, amazing high. And fantastic, I think, that they chose London for this international launch of films. I think it says so much about the place of the UK, so much about the importance of the festival. And it isn't just important to the festival, they know they're coming to a place that audiences really appreciate film and cinema. You know, yeah. so that's great. Yeah, and you had your awards last night as well, with some we fantastic did. films in there. Tell us a little bit about the ones that won and why, why you thought, or you and your colleagues thought they should have won. Right, well, the great thing about the awards is I'm not on the jury. Oh, right. um, but what I think is very distinct for the awards for the BFI London Film Festival compared to some of the other festivals is that we are really looking for those new voices. You know, so for example, highly commended to Rose Glass for Maud, which is a fabulous young British voice coming through. So it's a competition with a bit of a difference looking to the future. Yeah. And just finally, I mean, obviously there's so many films you could choose from. Was there any that kind of slipped through the gaps or any that you wish it had in or any films that audiences that they haven't seen at the festival you think should look forward to before the, the year ends? Uh, the, the biggest, biggest challenge of the festival is you always get to closing night and say, oh, I didn't see this, and I didn't see that. And you, there's a sort of level of frustration that just weren't the hours in the day to see so many films. So my advice would be to go on the website, make a list of all of the films and just see how many you can knock off in the next six months. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!